Welcome to the premiere episode of the quiz show where if you know, you know, and if you don't know, <laughs> You don't. And we will confirm it to you. We have quite a show lined up for you like you've never seen before. Interesting segments such as Quick Fire, Back to School, and of course my all-time favorite emoji headlines. Just to mention but a few, this show is gonna be ah, Meet Baby! <laughs> I'm your host, Buddha Boss, and let's get this show on fire! Okay, guys, are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Game Changers versus Unstoppable. It's going down right now. Up next is the Quick Fire. All right, these are the rules of the game. You have six questions to answer in only one minute, to be sure. 60 seconds. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, Brenda, first question goes to you. The time begins now. Which natural disaster is measured with a richer scale? Earthquake. Correct. Okay. <laughs> Feel free to appreciate. Okay. Paul Mutembe. Yes. What animals are, are pearls found in? Sorry, could you repeat that? What animals are pearls found in? Pearls. Yes. Human beings. Human beings. All right. Incorrect. Okay. And um, who wrote Oliver Twist? If you don't know, you can say pass. pass. Pass, okay. We come back to you, Brenda. Who is the first president of, who was the first president of America? If you don't know, say pass. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, all right. Incorrect. Who is, uh, back to you, Paul. What is the world's largest ocean? Is it the Atlantic? Atlantic. Incorrect. Last question coming to you, Anne. Which blood type do you need to be a universal donor? I'm sorry, your time is up. <laughs> yeah, One minute is over. We asked you six questions. You managed to answer five, and these are the answers that you gave us. You only. Uh, you only got one correct, and that one you earned 100 points. When we ask you which natural disaster is measured with the richer scale, you said earthquakes, and that is correct. But as for the other questions, what animals are pearls found in? We can't say human beings. Human beings are animals. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is oysters, okay? Who wrote Oliver Twist? And the correct answer is Charles Dickens. Who was the first president of America? Will it say Bill Clinton? My idea it is George Washington. And then the last question that you guys were supposed to be getting, what is the world's largest ocean? You say the Atlantic. The correct answer is the Pacific Ocean. After six questions, five answers, these guys have garnered 100 points so far. And I come to ask you, Chungu, to begin my Okay? <laughs> All right, we move on to team number two, and this is the Unstoppable. All right, remember each correct answer earns you a hundred points. You have one minute to answer six questions. If you don't know the answer, just say pass, or that you get a chance of getting to answer something else and you earn as many points as you can. Are you guys ready? Yes. Derek, we start with you, and the time begins now. Which swimming stroke is named after an insect? Backstroke. Backstroke, incorrect. Evelyn, what year did Mark Zuckerberg invent Facebook? Pass. Pass. All right, we come back to you, Naftali. How many dots are used in each letter in the Braille system? Pass. Pass. Derek, what is a female deer called? Pass. Pass. Evelyn, what unit is used to measure horses? Pass. Naftali. <laughs> which, <laughs> which country invented tea? Pass. <laughs> okay, these guys have passed all the questions. <laughs> all right, you guys have got zero points, unfortunately. These are the quick questions that we ask you. Which swimming stroke is named after an insect? <laughs> We'll talk about backstroke. <laughs> Is there an instance called a backstroke? Okay, we'll talk about backstroke. Butterfly should have been a quick one, all right? 
Then we said, what year did uh, Mark Zuckerberg invent Facebook? It is 2004. Then how many dots are used in each letter in the brain system? Six. What is a female deer called? It's a doe. What unit is used to measure horses, hands, and of course, which country invented tea? The correct answer is China. After the first round of quick fire, <coughs> game changers are leading with a hundred points. <laughs> Unstoppables cannot stop. <laughs> Zeros. Okay. <laughs> now you guys have an opportunity to select one of the following three segments. And the segment you pick, these guys cannot be able to pick. Now you have an opportunity to select either between entertainment, uh, sports, or history. Agree quickly, and then let's know what you guys have chosen. Um, we've chosen entertainment. You've chosen entertainment. You're sure? Yes. Okay. Remember, a hundred points for each correct answer, and at the end of the day, we're going to have accumulative. Uh, figure giving us to know how much you've been uh, how many points you've been able to score, correct? All right, six questions begins now. A minute to go. I'll start with you, Anne. Change the order a bit. What was the ring name of American actor and former professional wrestler Dwayne Johnson? All right, Wab in correct. Which reggae artist performed in at Zimbabwe's Independence Day celebrations in 1984? Bob Marley. Bob Marley, correct! Iman, the widow of English rock musician David Bowie, was born in which African city? Brenda. Ghana. You can say pass, sorry? Ghana. Ghana, incorrect! And what was the name of the group Justin Timberlake used to be part of? Pardon, is not the correct answer? Incorrect! We are coming back to you, Paul. Which British girl group had a member by the name of Mel B? Spice Girls. Spice Girls, correct! And the last question, I hope the time does not lose out on you. Which song by Louis Fonzi and Daddy Yankee has the most views of all time on YouTube? Despacito. Despacito! Well, no, no, no. This one you have to disqualify. She has given an answer to. You've been given an answer. Do we disqualify allow it? I am going to disallow that one because you've broken the rules. So I will pick two of the six responses you've given us. You guys have 300 points so far. Appreciate yourself. Hey. <laughs> the question that we asked you about uh, who, uh, what was the ring name of the American actor and former professional wrestler? Of course, you're correct. When Johnson's uh, ring name is The Rock, which reggae artist performed at Zimbabwe's Independence Day celebrations? 1980, you're correct. Bob Marley. Iman, the widow of English rock musician David Bowie, was born in which African city that is Mogadishu? What was the name of the group Justin Timberlake used to be part of? And sing, not pardon. No, sing pardon only. <laughs> and of course, there's Pasito, which I have actually ruled out because she told you about it, but you're right about the Spice Girls. You guys are leading at 300 points so far. Let's appreciate it. All right? Okay, round two of the quick fire comes back to you, ladies and gentlemen, or lady and two gentlemen, between sports and history. Which one do you pick? We pick sports. You pick sports. All right. Starting with Naftan. Yes, sir. You ready? Yes, sir. If you don't know, say pass. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Okay, let's do this. Starting now. When Michael Jordan played for the Chicago Bulls, how many NBA championships did he win? Six. Six! Correct! Okay, Evelyn, how many years did Kobe Bryant play for the Lakers? 20 years. 20! Correct! Okay, Derek, which Williams sister has won more Grand Slam titles? Serena. Serena Williams! Correct! Yay. Which boxer was known as the greatest and the people's champion? Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, correct! Okay, which country won the very first FIFA World Cup in 1930? Pass. Pass, correct! <laughs> That's a <laughs> Which year did the football Premier League start? Pass. Pass, and you have done all your six questions. <laughs> oh my God, how many points are those? 400 points, what a comeback! 
that's what I'm talking about. You never know who's going to be unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> unstoppable. Yes, All right. A quick review of the questions. Of course, you've gotten four out of uh, the six questions. The one you did not get, if you take it quickly, which country won the very first FIFA World Cup in 1930? The correct answer is Uruguay. Of course, you passed on that one. And of course, uh, uh, what year did the Football Premier League start? That was in 1992. What a comeback! Oh! Brenda, yes. <laughs> anything to say concerning the next segment you're coming to? We are ready. You guys are ready? Yes. You sound like it. Yes. Paul Musembi. Game change. You're ready? Game change. All right. After a dramatic comeback, the Unstoppables are leading at 400 points, while we have the Game Changers at 300 points. Can they maintain the lead? Let's wait and see.